is Sarah Centeno and I'm here at Happy Tales Entertainment, home to some really amazing animal ambassadors. And today, we're going to take a closer look at just a few of those animals. So come with me and we'll get started. This first animal is one of the largest flying birds. This here is Argus. He is a one-year-old peacock. Now you'll notice that he is a male. He's brightly colored, but he's still young. He doesn't have those big, long tail feathers. Now the males are the ones with the big, beautiful coloration tail feathers. That's their way to attract the females. The females, on the other hand, they lack those big, long feathers so that they can hide in their surrounding and be more camouflaged so they can raise their young. Now they won't get those feathers until he's about three years old. And both males and females will fan their feathers, but it's typically just the males that have those big, beautiful ones that fan them to attract the females. So let's say bye to Argus and let's go meet our next animal. Check out this bracelet I have. Isn't it pretty cool looking? This here is Duke. Duke is a royal python, also known as a ball python. And this snake is native to Africa. Duke here, he's still pretty small, only a few years old. He will get much bigger. Now you notice Duke is sticking out his tongue. Do you know what he's doing? He's not being mean. He's actually smelling. That's how they smell. They have a forked tongue, and what they do is they take air samples on each part of that forked tongue, and they bring it back to the roof of their mouth where they have what's called the Jacobson's organ. And inside that Jacobson's organ, they can decipher what it is they're smelling. Is it friend? Is it food? Or is it foe? Now Duke here, he's not venomous. He doesn't have fangs. He's a constrictor, so he likes to squeeze his prey. But they do still have teeth. They're back curving, kind of like a fish hook, so they can hold on to their prey. Now one really cool adaptation about these, about these snakes is that they have the ability to unhinge their jaw. This allows them to swallow things up to four times the size of their head. Now a lot of people want snakes as pets and they think they're really cool, but you really have to do your research. This guy, he's still young, but he can live up to 40 years. However, he does stay pretty small, only about six feet in length when he's full grown. So we're going to say bye to Duke, we're going to check out another animal. Now this next animal is one cool rodent. This here is Hassani, and Hassani is an African crested porcupine. He's only about two and a half years old, so he's still pretty young. And one really cool thing about these guys, of course, are these black and white quills. Now when Hassani is nice and calm and relaxed, these quills lay down flat. But you startle him, and they'll stick straight up, spread him out, and he'll shake him. He'll stomp his feet. That's his warning, hey, get back, you're scaring me. Kind of like your cat or dog, the, the hair on the back will stick straight up, same with this guy. Now you'll notice his sonny, he's eating vegetables and fruit. He's a vegetarian. He loves to dig up roots and, and burrow down in there. And one other really cool adaptation about him is he's nocturnal. You'll see these really small little eyes. He's got very poor eyesight, but a great sense of smell. Thanks so much for joining me and some of the animals here at Happy Tales Entertainment. I'm really excited about the opportunity of working at the Fort Worth Zoo, and I hope you guys enjoyed my presentation. From one animal to another, we'll see you later. Bye.